Hey everyone, it's your Wax Weirdo here, and I'm excited to share with everyone my new haul from Salt Mountain Melts. This is from the recent pre-order, and she pours out of Salt Lake City, and I'm super excited to smell everything and give you my initial impression. I used to live in Salt Lake City, so that kind of brings a little bit of home to me that I miss. I got a couple blender bears. I got this in Creme de Menthe. And it's just a yummy peppermint smell. A little bit of a little bit of a creaminess, but mostly peppermint. Then I got Maraschino Cherry. And it is strong smelling in the bag, and it is cherry, that's for sure. So, if you don't like cherry, then obviously you won't like this. Oh, I got a little sample in Fake Love. And I actually got Fake Love in a D stash, and I don't have any Fake Love for Fake Love. I have Real Love for Fake Love because it smells so good it's like salty sea air i think waffle cone and mango sorbet i think okay then i have a few candy bags i got sweet talk which is juicy fruit cotton candy fizzy pop and i think i actually oh no i did buy this one mm. oh, that is good first to me you get it's almost, yeah, you get like bubble gum first. Then the fizzy pop, I don't get like, usually fizzy pop super duper prominent and dominant, but um, it's not. It's blended in there nicely. And then the juicy fruit really comes out. That's the biggest note in here. So I really like that. I wonder if that cotton candy will come out more and that fizzy pop will come out more. But that is, it's good. I like it. If you like juicy fruit, you'll like that. Then I did, I did get some items in a D stash that pertained to this. So I thought I'd just add them anyway. Like this one I got in a D stash, which is Dirty Dirt Ball, Dr. Pepper, Creamy Vanilla, Cherry. And the Dr. Pepper is first and then the cherry. So you gotta like cola. The cherry's not, I mean, it's there. It's almost just like a fruity, but I don't feel like it's overwhelming. The Dr. Pepper is the dominant. I don't get much creamy vanilla because that, I, it's hard to pick out. I, I know it's in there, but the other notes just dominate. And I'm sure the vanilla, which usually takes a little time to cure, will pop out some more but i like it then also in a d stash i got southern iced tea and it is interesting i don't necessarily i don't get a sweetness i just kind of get mostly an herbal tea and i like it I would just suggest maybe a hint of lemon, just a hint, and um, like sugar crystals or something like that. Then I think this would definitely be more authentic. Okay, and I have one little souffle in Slow Burn, which is Pipe Smoke, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Black Cherry. And the cherry is, is dominant. I get the pipe smoke kind of at the end. So I'm curious to see what when this is ready to see what it will um, smell like. Because, I mean, it is still a pretty new little child from 42819. And then I just have some clams left. And this is in the new packaging that was done. The shucked clam, I think, is what it's called and Hello Cupcake, which everyone is going bananas about this, and I definitely know why. 
I was like, I better try one, but I wish I would have got more too. Mm. It's it's so good. The lemon rind. Oh yeah, then there's shortbread cuppy cake sugar. It's it's a different take on like a lemon cupcake. And I thought, oh, it's just gonna smell like a lemon cupcake, but no, it's good. You get that lemon rind. It's almost like um SGA's is it Hello Lover? Just that really dominant lemon it's so so good and so I bet that cuppy cake and that sugar will just and shortbread will come out just a little bit more too the more time it has to cure then I also got a gummy bear slushy which is mango lime orange grapefruit peach and vanilla it's good I get more of the like mango and the grapefruit and the peach than the citrus first. The citrus comes after, but I get those more exotic, I guess they're not really exotic, just those different fruits first. And it smells so good. I don't, I have gummy bear and other wax, and I don't think it smells similar at all. This actually smells different. Then I got some birthday carnival, which is funnel cake, B-Day cake, and cotton candy. And it smells like bakery. You get them all. The, B the birthday cake and the funnel cake mostly. The funnel cake tones down the sweetness of the birthday cake and the cotton candy. Then I also got some princess poppy which is cotton candy, orange sherbet, and lemon curd. Lemon curd, I don't know, I love curd for some reason, I love that word. And that's nice too. The lemon and the orange blend nicely, one doesn't dominate over the other, you just get a nice citrus. Then I got so fresh and so clean, which is fresh picked blackberries, lemongrass, and gain. The lemongrass and the gain I, are the first notes I get. Um, the blackberries are is kind of in the background. I just kind of get a fruity nest to it. So maybe that'll come out more the longer it cures. I got some Santa Cruzin, which is honeydew melon, cotton candy, salty sea air. And it is good too. Uh, the honeydew melon and the salty sea air, I smell the most. Usually cotton candies in the background too, but, but I get it kind of in the after. Yeah, that's an after note for sure. But that's good. It's almost cucumber melon-ish, almost. Let me make sure. Kinda, yeah, with that salty sea air in there. So that makes it different and that's really good. I got cherry blow pop, which is cherry and fruity bubble gum. And that's good. And it's different. I haven't smelled anything from another vendor like this. The cherry isn't dominating and the bubble gum isn't dominating. They're really good together. And the bubble gum is not that dominating kind of candy cigarette bubble gum either. It might be, but it's blended nicely in here that I just kind of get a fruity bubble gum. So that's nice. I'm into it. And lastly, I have Tropic Like It's Hot, which is the cutest little name, and that's Hawaiian Tropic and Pineapple Smoothie. And it's so nice. It is like pina colada first like that kind of smell but it's then it's not it turns into that suntown lotion or that oil that hawaiian tropic oil right after that gives it a little bit of a, a different hint it's almost it's it's good it's almost like you get a sweet sweet coconut but also like 
the suntan coconut in there, if that makes sense. But that's just me. But delicious. I'm so happy with my first order from Salt Mountain. I cannot wait to melt all this action when it is ready. And we'll see you in my next video. Thanks.